everybody, this is Rob Vegas and I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia with another awesome episode of Assemble the Troops. And we are back here with Cobra Convergence 6, which is still going on. It is July, it is 2022 and it's all systems go, all organized by our friend HCC788, where, who has brought together all these amazing Cobra content creators from across the globe to celebrate G.I. Joe's greatest foe, Cobra, this month. And head on over to hcc788.com for a list of all of the great presenters and also one lousy one, which is me, which is what we're doing here today, the 25th of July. And I'm going to be bringing a fan request and it is from HCC788 himself. He's requested Toxo Viper to show up here on Assemble the Troops. And I tell you what, we're going to have a Toxo Viper extravaganza bonanza. And there's only one place we can do that. And that's over at the Rob Vegas Technology Center. And I tell you what, let's head on over there and get the job done. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are at the Royal Vegas Technology Center, which today is doubling as a toxic waste treatment plant. Uh, we have quite a few friends here. You know, sometimes when you're on the internet, you can get some toxic comments on your videos, but they can get as toxic as they like here because we've got the gang. We've got Toxo Viper version one, we've got Cesspool, we've got Sludge Viper, and we might have a few pop-ins from some other excellent uh, guests. So stay tuned for that. We're doing a file card frenzy, as is the theme this month. First up, Toxo Viper, unmasked. So under his helmet, he's wearing another respirator system. I'm not sure if you can see that. So the stuff he's dealing with must be so toxic. He has to wear an extra respirator or toxic waste um, filter thing. Oh, cesspool. Get up, mate. You're in the video. So we've got our guys, they're waving, they're saying hello, and they're like, well, get on with the show, Rob. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we'll get cesspool standing up. Now these guys had a color change gimmick where you'd spray toxic waste at them and they'd change color to indicate battle damage which is why you can sort of see some weird coloration stuff going on but um what we're going to do as it's assemble the troops we are going to assemble the troop because this is my original og Toxo Viper from, I believe it was 1988 or 89. And as you can see, he's not in good shape, is he? He needs help. And there we go, we got it there. So, what we're going to do is replace the O ring. And you know how it's done. While we're doing that, of course, like I said, we've got the file cards here. So we're going to run through them for the benefit of everybody. Oh, look out for that. That's toxic waste. Get away from that stuff. Because apparently, these folks are spreading around toxic bits and bobs everywhere. So... In regards to assembling a troop, you must have seen this a hundred times. And if you've watched a hundred of my videos, I tell you what, you're um you're a good person and I thank you. So yeah. Oh dear. Well, that's been happening a lot lately. Don't know why. Anyway. On to the show. And so Toxo Viper, this one just popped when I saw him. I always liked the Techno Viper with the colors because he was like just this bright purple. And 
yeah, I like the idea of taking the, like he had this helmet as we saw before when we unmasked him. And that was really cool. So we've got a replacement O-ring, you know the drill. And we've popped that through the waist piece. We get that round the back. There's this peg on the back. And then this bit always goes wrong on the show. You've probably seen that again a hundred times. And if, if you've seen it a hundred times, I'll tell you what again. Um, if you see me, um, I'll buy you a beer or something. Uh, and then you wrestle the arms in. That's always a bit of a mission. But you get there in the end. I always say, I've said this a few times, but um, if anyone's got any information on the actual, like when these guys were manufactured originally and, and how like oh, how like the people in the factory did this and all of that, let me know in the comments below. Part of me thinks there must have been some kind of robot just doing it, but... Who knows? Now, we have got ourselves one, or two now. So that's my original Toxo Viper that I got back in the day, and he is all assembled. Let's get his hat, which is cool. He's got this backpack, which is super creepy looking. So that's awesome as well. And then there's a peg on the back of the backpack and one of these little hoses that they always just like to whack in with the old G.I. Joes. There we go. And he's got his toxic waste dispenser, as it were. And that, this figure, like, or oh, sorry, this accessory is cool for Toxo Viper and looks really sinister and awesome and everything but yeah they just used it a ton in the like say for example you would get your 1993 figures and then they'd just be like oh yeah let's give him toxo vipers and they even included the peg for the hose like in a lot of the 1993 figures and it just didn't make any sense it was like um everyone's shooting around toxic waste now and maybe that's why there's a hole in the ozone layer well let's try it out and see what happens huh oh, come on man Whoosh. there we go still works so good job toxo viper i'm really proud of you and it's great to have you all assembled again and, and back in the game so that's awesome of course accordingly Toxo Viper, Cobra Hostile Environment Trooper is what we're hearing on the file card. Cobra Toxo Vipers are thrust into the battle situations, mainly to create a foul and unsuitable environment. Sounds like the last time I had chili. Thus giving the upper hand to Cobra, their battle suit is moderately... <laughs> moderately airtight and resistant to most solvents if the suit was made completely impervious to atmospheric dangers it would be awkward slow moving and most importantly expensive cobra leaders feel that toxo vipers should be encouraged to get their jobs done as quickly as possible unburdened by heavy and expensive equipment the quote reads Needless to say, being a Toxo Viper is not something a Cobra aspires to be. In fact, the, ins the assignment is meted out as punishment for major offences. The mere threats of being transferred to the Leaky Suit Brigade is enough to keep the most... Obs -do -do uh, I'll have to get you. Troublemaking troops in line. So someone went for gold there on the thesaurus. But anyway, yeah, don't be a toxo viper seems to be the general idea. Which brings me to my next point, which is 
Oxo Viper version 2 and of course he is not in good shape you can see many years of battle damage from toxic waste and things like that have left him in disrepair he's fallen apart he did pop up a while back but yeah the poor bloke so what we're going to do is quickly whack him back together and hook him up with some new insides and get him back on the battlefield because if you haven't seen him before toxo version 2 is a really cool figure just like his previous version so this particular o-ring you can see it's just toast so that's going in the toxic waste there it goes dissolved now toxo version 2 again as i mentioned there was that color change gimmick when you sprayed water on them and yeah the plastic would change color and have battle damage on it what we're going to do of course as always is hook the o-ring onto that leg piece like that that little bit there we're going to pop the waste piece on there as such and you sort of get your screwdriver if you have patience like I don't and you yank that rubber o-ring through there we go so that's half a figure give it a bit of a stretch out Get the back bit it's got that peg that we always mention pop that on there grab the front bit you don't have to do it exactly like i do because you can see my results are mixed at best on a good day but hey as long as we get the guy back together that's the main thing because you especially with these guys they're quite rare to see out in the wild like and there, there we go, he's got his arms. Let's get him ahead. And he's got it. So they're quite rare to see out in the wild, but just a wonderful figure and really creative design and a great update on someone that was really an awesome figure. Keeping in theme with the purple colors and also like that purple and green and the red gloves, that really pops. and. Damn, look at that helmet. He looks pretty sinister. So, you know you've got a good Cobra. One that looks super sinister like that. And, of course, Toxo version 2 came with a backpack full of... I don't know, well, all sorts of ozone layer depleting stuff from the 1980s. So, he's pretty cool. Uh, well, not really. But he came with this some kind i'm gonna guess this has something to do with firing toxic waste so good for him and of course he came with the peace de resistance the water cannon so basically you stick this in a barrel of toxic waste like that you pull this syringe bit back and then you go push push that syringe in and it blasts everyone with toxic waste. What we're gonna do in the first instance is to show you what Toxo looks like with that in hand. There he is, ready for battle. Now I'll tell you what, let's find it. Let's get some toxic waste and fire that stuff around. Okay, so you can see we've got some dangerous toxic waste here. We've got Toxo Viper. And he's got a target so what you do is you get this launcher there's a plunger at the back you go whoosh pull that out and it goes back in you dunk it in the toxic waste like so if you can see that hopefully and then you pull that plunger right so you should have something resembling that you pop it in toxo version 2's hands and then 
we align up with our targets and then we give them some toxic waste oh dear toxic attack version two Okay, well one last thing to do with Toxo Viper version 2 is file card frenzy and bang, here he is, he's finally reunited with his file card, which is awesome news, so let's check it out together and bring it home. It says, Cobra Toxo Viper Hostile Environment Trooper, which of course was his same designation on file card 1. The original Toxo Vipers, it reads were disparagingly referred to within the ranks as the Leaky Suit Brigade and assignment to them was considered severe punishment. The story checks out. The new Toxo Vipers sport top quality state-of-the-art equipment greatly increasing their survival ratio but they still have to deal with the intensely toxic sludge. Oh, poor sludge viper. That's a bit harsh. They, <laughs> they have to deal with the intensely toxic sludge and horrible noxious gases as part of their normal tour of duty. Noxious gases again? Man, they need to improve their diet. According to the quote, Toxo Vipers have the bad attitudes of permanent latrine orderlies. They don't want to be there. They don't like it what they're doing and they know they're stuck because nobody else will do it. Toxo Vipers have a grudge against the whole world and the only thing that makes them feel better is to make the world a nastier place for you to live in. So how about that? Toxo Viper version 2. These guys are great. They're awesome figures and real superstars of the American hero line. They are just such just imaginative and well-detailed and fun figures to have and just enjoy being in their presence. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut up shop here at the Rob Vegas Technology Center and we'll do a quick wrap up and I'll go from there. How's that sound? So this is Rob Vegas, and I am wrapping up this special episode of Assemble the Troops for Cobra Convergence 6 for HCC788.com. Head on over there once you finish watching this video, of course. And I just wanted to thank everyone who has supported this show so far and this journey over the last, you know, two years of, you know, assembling some troops and getting them back to their former glory and back on the battlefield. I especially want to thank HCC788 for uh, um, thinking of me to include me as a featured presenter in Cobra Convergence 6. And yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, also thank you for rekindling my interest and love for these figures that I grew up with and had so much fun with back then and I'm having so much fun with right now and yeah I just want to share it with everyone and yeah we are at 99 subscribers at the moment let's see if anyone's game enough to click on that subscribe button and get us over the 100 mark that'd be that'd be a bit of a buzz but that's a story for another day anyway hcc 78 Dot com. That's where you want to head to to find all of the awesome content. And yeah, head on to over to YouTube, where you probably are now if you're watching this. And yeah, just do a quick search on Cobra Convergence 6, and you are going to find so much awesome stuff from all of these great content creators and some lousy stuff like mine. So it's all good. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, you're an absolute legend. If you liked it, uh, that's great. If you didn't like it, well, good on you for getting through it. Anyway, I'm going to see you in the next video. We've got heaps more Cobra Convergence content coming your way. So stay tuned for all of the awesomeness. And thanks, everyone. And yeah, catch you soon.
Cheers, friends. Okay, so here we are at the Rob Vegas Toxic Waste 